Hi, my name is Adrian Stiglitz and I work at Best Buy Canada. I'm here representing Geek Squad Academy, which is a cool program where our Geek Squad agents and other Best Buy employees teach students all about the wonder of technology. We usually go out to schools to teach students about technology, but since we can't get together in person right now, we have some really cool free classes available on our website. Our classes include 3D design, stop motion animation, video game development, and so much more. For now, I'm going to talk a little bit about electricity and how it works. I'm even going to show you how to build a circuit using Play-Doh, which I'm sure you've all had fun playing with at some point. Let's get started. Electricity is probably one of the most important inventions of all time. Without it, we would not have been able to innovate or invent the new technology the way that we have. Think about all the convenient things that we have access to, like lighting, computers, air conditioning, heating, and many more. How many of these things do you think relies on electricity? If you said all of them, you're right. Since we rely on electricity so much, we think it's super important to have a basic understanding of how it all works. Electricity is delivered in a circuit, which means that the power travels in a loop in order for it to work. Three basic parts of every circuit are power supply, conductive material, and load. Power supply is the component that supplies power to an electrical device. For example, battery, solar, wind, geothermal, and more. Conductive materials are the materials that help to move the flow of electrical current from your power source through the circuit. For example, wires, metal, water, the human body, and Play-Doh. And finally, the load, which draws electricity from a power supply to turn on, light up, or start moving. For example, a light bulb, TV, cell phone, or iPad. Did you know that the human body is also a conductor, which means electricity can pass through us? Don't believe us? Check this out. This is an energy stick, which has an electrode on each end. The energy stick sensing circuit is so sensitive that it can detect even a very small amount of electricity that travels across my skin. It's completely safe, and it's a totally cool way to learn about conductors of electricity. Just notice though, as soon as I let go of one end of the stick, it breaks the circle and therefore stops working. LED lights are an example of a load in a circuit. We're going to be using these to create a circuit today. To make a circuit, we need to ensure we have our basic parts. First, we have our power supply. In this case, it's our battery pack. And second, we have our conductive material, which is our Play-Doh. And finally, the third thing we need is our load, which is our LED light. You will notice that there are two leads with different lengths. Leads are usually wire or a metal pad that is designed to connect two locations electrically. The longer lead is anode and is positive. It should connect to the red side of the battery pack. The shorter lead is cathode and is negative. It should connect to the black side of the battery pack. An important fact to remember is that anode represents positive current, which our battery holders identify with a red cable. Don't mix them up or the LED might short out and stop working. Now it's time to make our circuit. Here we go. And there you have it. We built our very own circuit. Now, let's see if it works. To short circuit your connection, push the dough pieces together. Notice the LED dims or goes out because the electricity is taking the path of least resistance, which is directly through the dough. So why do you think the LED turned on? It's because electrons are flowing from the battery, through the wire, and into one piece of conductive dough, through the LED, and into the other piece of conductive dough, and finally back to the battery pack. It can be helpful to visualize the circuit as a circle of electrons. 
Since the electrons can flow in the circuit, it's called a closed circuit. Here on the left, you see an open circuit, and on the right, a closed circuit, which makes the light work. I hope you enjoyed this demo on squishy circuits. For more STEM activities, visit us at bestbuy.ca slash Geek Squad Academy online. <laughs>